Cup Series Season 1 Finale. We're here at Homestead Miami Speedway, home of the final race of Season 1's Finale. Four drivers have bust their butt through the summer working to get into this finale, and they have made it by conquering the points. We have our best drivers here as the righty the one gets set for this race. As many of the drivers are kind of young, they haven't really been racing much in this series, but that doesn't mean it can stop them in this series. Let's go ahead and take a look at those drivers right after this. Consistent driver to be in this finale. He has no wins this season, and he also didn't even get into all the races after being injured at Texas. What would you say the 78 team has done this season to be good? Well, I mean, he was really consistent this season. Well, Eric Jones was almost going to give him his first win too, but he couldn't quite get it done. He was just an edge short from Jimmy Johnson. But he was still very consistent and got a lot of great finishes this season. I think he only crashed like once or twice this season. That's pretty good for that 78 team. The third driver to watch for in the championship four is the four of Kevin Harvick. Harvick had a tough start of the season. He got dead last at Daytona. But he's going to be back, and he's going to look to get his second one of the season and get it in a row, and also try to see if he can get the championship. Even without even getting the win, he can still get the championship, because the best finish takes the win. He was doing that multiple times while in this race. Yeah, the four had a rough start this season, but he managed to get a better season, and after that, after he saw what happened on that race, you remember that, and he managed to get the win last race at Richmond and get in. He was like seven points back in points positions back, I could say. He was like seven points. But he's gonna manage to see if he can get a good win and get the championship today. That's gonna be kind of tough though because he's gonna start third today, but he's close to the 78 and he's close to the 42 as well. The last driver to watch in the championship four is the nine of Chase Elliott. Elliott had a lot of trouble on this race today. He qualified toward the back for today's race, which is 19. Excuse me, no, 20. Yeah, it looks like Chase Elliott had a rough position to start in for today's race. He's gonna need a lot of catching up if he wants to have a chance to win this championship. But, I just don't know. Elliot has been pretty consistent this season, but I'm not sure if this will be enough. He's just really far back and everybody else is toward the front. And spinning during qualifying does not want to make you happy. That makes you mad, especially for a race like this and when you're in the championship or like this guy is. Or the land of the
Row one, Bubble Walsh Jr. and Kyle Larson. Row two, Alex Bowman and Martin Truex Jr. Row three, Kevin Harvick and Clint Boyer. Row four, Jimmy Johnson and Ty Dillon. Row five, Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano. Row six, Austin Dillon and William Byron. Row seven, Kyle Busch and Ricky Center Jr. Row eight, Kurt Busch and Ryan Newman. Row nine, Paul Menard and Chase Elliott. Row ten, Daniel Suarez and Trevor Bain. Row eleven, Brad Kozowski and Eric Amarola. And in the last row, we have Jamie McMurray and Greg Golding. So here's a look at your info for today's race. It's going to be a 10-lap race. There's 24 cars. And the drivers are the 4, 9, 42, and 78. They'll be said a lot this race since they're the championship four. And the best finish wins the championship. So say Kyle Larson gets like third and the 78 gets fifth and the four gets seventh and the and the nine gets 20th. Then um, the 42 will win the championship as an example. The green flag is out. We are underway here in the finale. Bubba Wallace is going to lead, followed by Kyle Larson. We're on lap two now. Bubba's still going to lead by Larson as we come down the track into the turn areas. And we got trouble. Hamlin went loose, it looks like, and caused a big pileup to happen as the caution is out for the first time today. So we're going to restart with Bubba Wallace Jr. leading, and we're going to restart on lap number five. The 42 is right now first. The 4 is in 2nd, the 78 is in 3rd, and the 9 is in 4th for the championship 4 so far. So here we go. We're not ready to go back racing now. The green flag is in the air. We're back underway here. Bubba and Alex Bowman side by side. We come down to the next lap as we come down the track again. We all come down the track here as it's an intense battle here in the turn. They all come down the track here as... And we got a turn! As we have a big crash! And Chase Silly has been taken out as well! One championship driver has been taken out, and the caution is back out again. Alright, so we have a two-lap dash here in Homestead. We only have 11 cars left. We are short on cars. The 78 of Martin Truex Jr. is right now in the lead for the position of drivers in the championship four. He's in second place. Kyle Larson is in fourth. He's going to... Try to see if he can go ahead and get a good push. All by Harvick. Harvick is right now in fifth. So he's not far behind. Let's see if he can get, get it done too. Bubba Walsh Jr. is going to lead us to the green flag. Green flag waves again. We're back underway. And on the back stretch once again. Bubba Walsh here as we come to the white flag. There's one white flag down the back stretch for the final time of the season. Here we come. Coming to the line. It's a photo finish, but Larson got it. It looks like Larson got it by an edge. What a race. What a season. We just saw Kyle Larson wins at Homestead. Here's the finish as Larson got it by an edge over Truex. Even if you disagree with me, it's still not going to make Truex the winner. Truex gets second in the championship, followed by Harvick. Kyle Larson wins the championship. Well, there you guys go. Unfortunately, that is the end of Season 1 of the NPMCS. Stay tuned for Season 2, though. That will be coming up after the Icy Cup Series ends. So we have the Icy Cup Series. That will be next. The first race will probably be on Monday, I think. So we'll see you all there, I guess. Um. So, yeah. Stay tuned, though, because Season 2 will be coming up after that. It will be alternating um, Pepsi Max Cup Series. So, yeah. Stay tuned here as I'd like to congratulate Bubba Wallace Jr., which is Avery Barnett, and Kyle Busch of 5. I did erase his name because I won revenge, but um, he'll still have the car for now. But um, shout out to them because um, they, they signed up. And then Kyle Larson was the Larson fan, 8842, signed up for Larson. Um, he was like, he, it, the sign up came out a little late, so probably, that's probably why nobody else signed up for the 42. But um, yeah, but. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching the NPMCS Season 1. We're going to be going ahead and moving on to the Icy Cup Series, down, which is my downhill series. Um, so yeah, those races will be on more often because um, the races won't be as long. They don't take as long because I film with um, my phone, so I won't be using my iPad for those races. So we'll see you all for the next race of the NPMCS, which will be in Season 2 which will be coming soon. 
But I'd like to thank you all for a great first season. You guys have made me smile. And um, so, yeah, because I'm glad you guys have been really enjoying my channel. And I'm glad you guys like the series. And I'm glad you guys have been uh, watching these. And, um, yeah. Um, thank you all for the support up there. And um, one last congratulations to Kyle Larson on winning the championship. Um, it was a great job for him to do that as congratulations, Kyle Larson.